This video is brought to you by the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. Go to patreon.com slash disc golf nerd. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my quick review of the Upper Park Trainer Bag. This is a dedicated practice style duffel bag that holds a ton of plastic, but I've been finding it to be very versatile in other ways as well, just as a bag for traveling and as a disc golfer, even if I'm just going out camping or something like that, I usually have some discs coming with me. So this makes it a really versatile little duffel bag. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Thank you very much to Upper Park for sending me this bag to test and review. They also sent me the shift, which I have a full review on my channel. I'll put at the end screen of this video for you to check out. I'll also show you my overview video for the Rebel and the Shift. My full Rebel review will be coming soon for the folks that are waiting for that as well. So stay tuned for that. But thanks to Upper Park for hooking me up with these great bags to check out and show off to you guys on the channel. And thanks to all of you for your continued support. If you like the channel, you like the videos, please hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for future uploads. And let's take a look at this relatively simple bag. Should be a relatively simple video as well. But here it is, Upper Park Trainer Bag. So on the bottom here, it's got a little bit of a flattened portion that's slightly reinforced as well to keep the bottom a little bit more protected with all that plastic in there, typically. You can also see that these uh, handles are kind of integral, sewn into this seam all the way up. And you have a little uh, grid sewn there to keep it really sturdy. And here is the handle. It also has this uh, handle here that is Velcro that you can put both straps into if you want to kind of encapsulate those into one. Pick the whole thing up with just that one handle, which is great, but I like to kind of keep it a little bit more open for easier access to that main compartment. And then you also have a uh, shoulder strap as well. Nothing special. This is not really designed to be carried long distances or carried for your round or anything like that. So it's just basic shoulder strap, plenty to get you from point A to point B. Um, and then you also have a swiveling clip here if you want to take off the shoulder strap, super easy. You can also hang stuff off of here if you want to like hang a towel off of there or something. You can do that on this end cap here. Another upper park logo and you can see still perfectly sized for a few discs so even if you wanted to fill the whole main compartment with clothes or something for uh, an overnight trip or whatever it is you can still put a nice little three disc selection in your uh, trainer bag here which is great and also in here you can see that the inside of the material has some water water resistant backing and you can also see there's a mesh pocket here with a little bit of light elastic if you wanted to secure some valuables like wallet or keys or anything in there. So I've got a few discs in there that zip in great. The zippers are, are solid. And that's pretty much all the features to show you on this bag other than the main compartment. We've got some Velcro here to open that part up. And then you have a double zipper here with a single attachment. It works great, opens up the whole main compartment. So you can see how perfectly sized this thing is to have discs and this is one two three four five six seven um ten discs just in the front thing and then also these are all putters right here so the way i have it set up is i have the dividers kind of making it two thirds one third and it's a really versatile setup once again here's that water resistant coating on the inside of the fabric and this is exactly what I use this thing for recently for an overnight trip to Stub Stewart. I brought a hoodie, I got extra socks, extra shirts. I have this um, rubber band that I use to warm up. I'm really liking. And you can see the divider here. So there is Velcro running here, here, and also along the middle on the bottom. And these Velcro dividers, I believe it comes with at least these two, if not one more. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I've just been using these two here to keep this nice and sturdy and separated so I can have, like I have it set up here, I have clothes and then I have my putters that I was messing around with on the, on the short course at the campground. So I got four Eco Pures, I got an A3, Caltrop, a magnet. You guys saw my little three disc starter set on the other side there too. And then plenty of room over here for clothes. I got a hoodie and yeah, socks and shirts and stuff like that. So that works out really well. Another thing you can do, obviously, is just load the entire thing with plastic. If you do that, it holds a ton of discs. Again, we have seven putters right here, plus 
three more discs on the side, that's 10. Real quick while we're sitting here, let's load this thing up with a bunch of plastic and show it off to you. So again, another shirt, extra socks. These stupid rubber band straps are really nice to warm up to, guys. Just a quick aside. Let's just start loading up some plastic off my shelf here to give you an idea of how much this thing can actually hold. And we'll do a full count once I get it loaded up. So, give you an idea. That's all of my backup drivers that I own. <laughs> right, right there. These are um, Furies, Havocs. Uh, one Evader is in there. Got one Essence hiding in there as well. That's basically all the backup throwers that I really have. Let's put some mid ranges in here as well. Oh, fumble! Since we already have seven putters, and then we'll get a quick count on this setup right here, just to see. That's not completely stuffed full, but you can see how many how many discs are in there. Let's see if I can get another couple. One more pure right here. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, yeah, like 30, 35 discs. Easy. I could definitely stuff more in on this side, as you can see, easily. If you're carrying all drivers to work on that particular aspect of your game, you could probably put 40 in this thing. So, you can put a, quite a few discs in here if you just want to bring this thing out to the course, bring all your throwers with you, work on your form, work on throwing angles, release angles, whatever it is you want to mess around with and work on for that particular session, you can hold all the plastic you could ever need for that in this one bag. But I'm finding it more useful day to day for me personally to be able to carry some discs and some other gear Another thing I will do with this thing typically, and why I have it set up like this, is I'll put all my discs on this side if I'm going out to film for reviews. Works out super well. I can put all the discs I want to throw in this side, and I still have room on this side. Once I take these uh, discs out, I can put, just to give you a quick idea of the, uh, the Velcro inside there, I can put my camera case in this side with my camcorder and stuff, load up this side with discs. So you can use it in a lot of different ways. It's uh, definitely a versatile little bag and I really just like it as just a dedicated kind of slim traveling duffel bag just for a quick day. Um, I'm heading out to the park. I can throw clothes and whatever else, a towel, sunscreen, anything I want in this bag. And it has a perfect spot and a perfect ability to hold discs as well. But if you wanna use it for its kind of intended purpose and load it down with a ton of plastic to get out there on the course and work on your form or whatever the case might be, it works great for that as well. So it's definitely been a welcome addition to my setup back here. I've been using it for filming. I've been using it for overnight trips. It's also nice. So I have my uh, cart in the garage. I store it in the garage so I can dump out my bag, put it all in here, put some extra discs, some stuff I'm, I'm testing for review or whatever, and bring it down to the car, throw my cart in the car. When I get to the course, I can take what I want out of this and load it up into, uh, into the cart. So that works out quite well. And another uh, great use for this before I let you guys go would just be if you wanted to store some plastic. If you're a casual player, you don't have a ton of extra discs outside of your bag. You could put, you know, 30 plus discs in here just as storage, zip it up, throw it in the closet, hang it off a shelf, whatever you want to do. And it's a nice mobile storage uh, setup for, for your golf discs as well. So really versatile little bag, very simple product, but it really uh, allows me to do a lot of different things. And that's some of the ways I've been utilizing it. Let me know what you guys like to do with these type of bags. And if you tried this kind of dedicated disc golf duffel bag before, this one seems to be made really sturdy and solid. I like it quite a bit, and I've definitely been getting a lot of use out of it. So that's my quick review on the Upper Park Trainer Bag. Thanks again to Upper Park. Thanks to all of my fans, viewers, subscribers, the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. You guys are amazing. We're going to continue to try to post more content for you guys going forward. So stick around, and I will talk to you very soon. Cheers.